Hey boaters, Keith McGowan here. I am the Outboard Dad here to help you have a better boating experience. Today, I'm gonna do what any mechanic, backyard mechanic, do-it-yourselfer, or marina mechanic would do when purchasing a new diagnostic tool. Today, we're gonna go deep into the Ansel MR500 and I'm gonna take you step-by-step step as if you were opening the box for the first time. As you can see, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna see what it takes. We're gonna go through that. As mechanics, we're not always the techiest with connecting and everything. So we're gonna start from square one. I haven't touched this tool yet. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna plug it in and we're gonna go through the prompts and get this set up. And then we got a Yamaha out there that we're gonna plug this into and see how it works. Let's get started. So comes in a nice little box with a handle, which is pretty cool, of course, I don't think this is going to last out on the water long term, so it may be a good idea to get yourself a little Harbor Freight, um, you know, those uh, cases that they have with the foam in them, and maybe you could put this in there. Maybe you have a waterproof one would be even better. Um, might, might be a good idea to do that. So let's see what we got inside. I'm, I'm so excited to, to work on this and to make this work. I do have an old Mercury. Um, I don't even remember the brand. I think it's an OTC that I use for several of the Mercury. You've seen me use it on some of my videos on Optimax motors to scan to see what the hours are and to check any fault codes. Also to reset to put into limp mode uh, after a rebuild to add more oil because those are two-stroke engines. Now this will do the HPDI, which is a two-stroke motor, but our focus is going to be on four strokes today because that's really where people are going with most of their outboards. So let's see, we got some nice foam packaging here. We got a plastic bag with some instructions. Let me pull that out. It does have just letting you know what's in the box. We have a quick start guide. I kind of like that. It tells you where the buttons and everything are. Now this, I did pull this out of, the, out of its bag just because I was dying to see what it looked like. But ultimately, nice screen, nice kind of handheld tool here. It, it seems just like good to get a grip on. Have you ever had a cell phone and it kind of slips out of your hands all the time? You're worried about dropping it? Uh, I do think that this is pretty cool. We do have some cords here, and the, the one cord, of course, is for the Yamaha. And the other cord is to charge. So let's get started, and I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, and we're going to make sure we have power before we hook it up to a motor and get things set up. Now you can click the link in the description below and it will give you more deeper instructions and please send me a comment let me know what you're thinking and how you want to use this tool and any questions that you might have so right away it comes on says ansel here we do have the cord with the obd2 plug on it and here is our yamaha plug with the yamaha end so let's see It's going through like a setup, I assume. Okay, nice screen here. I'm going to bring in a little closer. Let's see. Try and do it so we don't have as much glare. There we go. So what do we got here? We got a disclaimer first. Uh, so we do have to scroll through and accept this. Read through every detail, make sure you agree, and hit accept. Now on my quick start guide, this says I have to register the item. So let's see if that's in support, maybe. Nope. Settings. So that's all the settings that are there. Upgrade. It does say here we need to do an upgrade on this, too. So let's see if that lets us, right, whether to operate software. We probably need to connect to the internet, so let's look at that. So we'll hit yes. At normal network connection, please be sure network has been open. So we probably need to go back to home here, and let's see if we can find where we connect to the internet. There's volume and such. So personal center is probably where it is. Okay, so that's where we got the screen that's in the instructions here. So we'll click register, because we have to register this. So I'm going to put my username in, which of course is Outboard Dad. I'm going to use all lowercase just because it's easier. 
and I'm going to get a pen and write this down. All right, so I'm going to write down Outboard Dad. Here is my username. I love directions, so I'm going to put down here Outboard Dad. as my username. Then we'll click Next. Password. I'm not going to tell you my password. Don't look. Confirm password. Next. Password retrieved by email. Done. Email password retrieved by email. So, of course, that is Outboard Dead. Uh, Keith at OutboardDead.com. Done. Next, now I have a feeling, oh, we have a password mismatch because I probably typed it wrong, and I did. So let's start that over again. And let me hit the little eyeball, make sure I have both of them correct here. Don't look. Next, network connection. So we got to get on the internet. So it's great we did all that, but we need to get on the internet. So let's see. Uh, language unit workshop network test. So, let's see, we'll go back to the home screen, and settings, maybe it's in settings? No, we already checked settings. So how do we connect to the internet here? Support data management, maybe it's in there. My data... Picture viewer. Oh, pretty cool. It has picture viewer. I think that's managing the data once you've recorded it. Personal center. We already did that. Hmm. Let's go all the way back to home and see the dots here in the middle. Browser, calculator, clock, diagram, settings. So there's a settings here. Let's see if this is the settings we're supposed to set. There we go, Wi-Fi. So not too bad for a mechanic. So let's click on Wi-Fi. McGowan Net, because that is my Wi-Fi. I'm going to put my Wi-Fi password in, which is in my phone right here. So let me stop recording for a minute. Okay, so I entered my password. Show password. Let's make sure I entered it correctly. Looks good. Connect. So it's obtaining IP address. Connected. So I have a repeater here in the shop, so I'm glad it, it connected properly. So now let's go back to uh, where we were logging in before. And put our username in, and I wonder if it's going to take that or not. So outboard dead. Next. And let's see if it takes the password. So now it says please wait a moment. Incorrect username or password. Let's see what I did wrong. Because it's usually something I did wrong. Hmm. I'm going to click register again to see if it allows me to start over because probably didn't take it because we weren't connected. So I'm going to start over with the same username and password. Email retrieved by. So let's go Keith at outboarddad.com. Next. Password mismatch, so I definitely did something wrong here. So I got the passwords the same now. 
Let's see. All right. Went through this time. Contact information. Contacts. I'll just put Keith in there. It's pretty cool how you have this information if you sell it to send it to someone. Put my phone number in there. Company name. Up for dead. Address. I'm not going to put my exact address in there. And I'm going to click register. Registered successfully. Welcome to the OBD space service. Log in now. All right. So my username and password. Oh, don't look. Is there. Click log in. And now we're all set. We have my info here, serial number, and everything is set up. So we didn't have an ordered anything. Now let's see. We can change the password here. We can log out. We can edit anything in here. And I'm just going to click around in here. See what's here. There's a dealer code. OBD Space Technology Company. Uh, looks like this is China. There's an email here for support. Support at AnselTech.com. There's also a phone number. One credit uh, equals one U.S. dollar. No, there's a phone, but I don't see a phone number here. So there's an email for support. Authorization Center. Already the latest configured, so that's good to see. And order history, of course, we didn't order any updates at this time. But I'm good to 2024, it says, so it looks like I need to do an update. So let's see how we do that. We'll go back. Do support, I'm going to guess. Manual, frequently asked questions, log upload. So let's see. In order to effectively solve the problems you encounter in the diagnostics, click upload log for feedback. I don't think that's it. I'm going to click it, see what happens. So it says it's been uploaded. There's probably an update on this video. I wonder what that is. Looks like it's logging into Ansel.tech, diagnostic expertise. Use cookies here. Now let's see what we have in here. Diagnostic tools, maintenance tools, download support, distributorship. Pretty cool. So let's go back and let's see if we can figure out how we do our settings. Maybe it's in settings to upload. We are connected. So we're getting somewhere. So we could do the date and time here. Be good to put that in. Uh, today is the. Oh, have to shut off my phone to get the. Well, we'll do a date and time another time. I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, so, those type of things I can do. So, system updates. So, here it is in settings. So, system updates. So, this is basically an Android device. So, current is 2.20. No update log provided for the current version. We'll check for update anyway. System update, please connect to the network and try again. Uh, so I don't know what that means, but I think we're ready to go. I think I'm going to go ahead and back out of this, and then we're going to go ahead and connect this uh, on our next episode. So setting this up is key to start with, because once you everyth have everything set up properly, then you can go ahead and start reading stuff on your outboard. So I think we're ready to do that. Uh, I do have a two, 225 horse Yamaha over here that had some issues and I'm hoping to pull some diagnostics from the motor so I have a little bit of knowledge going into this motor before I just start trying to fire it up and, and do my own tests like old school wise. This way we can do it kind of new school way. So please like, subscribe, send me any comments that you have and any questions that you have about this tool that I can get answered for you. We look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.